brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. It's time to celebrate 73 years since Guam was liberated, but the Mayor's Council and the Guam Liberation Historical Society say they're still in the planning stages. Let's face it, uh, you know, we're, we're all stressed out. We uh, don't know what to do. There's, uh, the governor is, hands are tied, I guess. Frustration that all started after public pushback that came following the construction of the Carnival Casino on the Paseo grounds. The issue MCOG President Mayor Paul McDonald says stalled progress. It hasn't because, you know, that's uh, still uh, in the works because of, you know, the situation. The situation is over Bill 50, now waiting for action by the governor. The measure gets rid of the casino at the Carnival and McDonald says the casino has been the major source of funding. This time we're, we should have uh, had the contract locked in already because we have the, the funds. But we don't have no contract yet because again, there's no funding source. Since the controversy, the Guam Liberation Historical Society's executive director stepped down. The government's federal programs administrator, Ray Blas, has taken on the job. Though it's the only structure up at this year's Carnival Grounds, Blas tells KUAM today that he's working with the mayors to ensure that the carnival goes on, even if it's without the casino. The mayors will meet this Wednesday in hopes of finalizing the liberation festivities. Coincidentally, that's also the governor's deadline to act on Bill 50, or it will lapse into law. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.